the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Father, for the grace. Thank you for this ministry. Thank you for all that you have done this year. We are not careful in saying thank you. Lord, we declare you are worthy of our praise. And we bless you tonight in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please be seated. Thank you, Jesus. Let's appreciate the worship team. Hallelujah. Good evening, everybody. I have a very simple church. I would call it a church tonight as we as we wrap up the year. For me, God has really been faithful. You saw that I just sat quietly, just reflecting on the songs. I have seen the faithfulness of God in my life. We have seen God's faithfulness. Lord, we thank you. I want to share with us something tonight that is very simple but powerful. I believe with all my heart that if we pay attention to these truths, they will make us reflect more of the Christ life in the name of Jesus. First John, please. Epistle of St. John. God has been good to us in this ministry. You know, sometimes when, when I sit back and I think of the faithfulness of God, quite honestly, I feel guilty even trying to ask anything because God has been good to me and He has been good to us as a ministry. First John chapter 3 and verse 11 for for this is the message we will pick a few verses for this is the message that ye have heard from the beginning what is the message that we should love one another Verse 12 Not as Cain 
who was of that wicked one and slew his brother and wherefore slew he him that means why did he slay him because his own works were evil and his brothers righteous uh-huh marvel not my brethren if the world hate you please continue go ahead we know that we have passed from death to life not by praying in tongues not because we worship not because we fast this is the evidence that that transition is real when we love the brethren it says he that loveth not his brother abided in death hallelujah the lord just put it in my heart to wrap up this glorious year teaching us very briefly or exhorting us on the supernatural power of love the supernatural power of love my name means the way to love and I have taken out time to study very carefully the power and the possibilities that are contained in this word love and I can tell you that if you understand the love of God and you can communicate that same love to your environment your life will be miraculous are we together now the Bible says by this shall all men know John 13 yes a new commandment I give you that you love one another it's a commandment it's not a suggestion a new commandment I give you that you love one another as that means to the degree you don't love as you wish you are giving a standard it's a commandment it says as I have loved you that he also love one another 35 read with me please koinonia i want to read by this hold on by what no 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 not by love by love to that extent not just by love the leaders of boko haram are married and they love their wives they are responsible so we cannot just trivialize by this what is the this by loving to a level that all men know this is not human humans cannot love to this degree it says by loving to that dimension shall all men know that means when people look at you they know that it is not given to humans to love this way are we together now shall all men know that ye are my disciples if ye have love one to another are we together every time we talk about the issue of love people shut down and think that the subject of love is a general subject for baby christians or people who are bankrupt of spiritual revelation or it's a feminist uh what do we call it an agenda that you should just leave it to our dear ladies and our sisters and when you talk of faith deliverance men stand up and know that you are talking <laughs> that you are talking to us once they say love people just say i mean well, love is easy love is cheap you see the summary of Christianity is this. Listen, when all the stakes are down, Christianity can be summarized in just three things. Number one, an encounter with the love of the Father as revealed by the sacrifice of Jesus. Christianity, the summary of Christianity, number one is an encounter with the love of the Father. We have not seen the father no man has seen the father at any time but jesus came as an expression of the love of the father so an encounter with the love of the father as revealed through the substitution the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus number two the transforming power of that love in the believer the transforming power of that love in the believer it produces two things one conformity 
and to empowerment that when the love of God is rich and dwells in the believer it produces two things one conformity that means that you conform to the fullness in experience now of the image the character of the Christ in other words if the love of the father is perfected in you when I look at you your tribe should not be the first thing that comes to my mind I shouldn't look at you and say ah you look like an Igbo man you look like a Yoruba person you look like a northern man. that means that that love should create the similitude of another culture that when I look at you I should be in the dark as to what physical territory to assign to you because you are manifesting love like no tribe no culture and no territory on earth is able to give are we together now so number one an encounter with the love of the father number two the transforming power of that love first in your life producing conformity and then empowerment and then number three the expression of that love through you to your world this is Christianity doesn't matter what mysteries we teach doesn't matter what signs and wonders the summary my brothers and my sisters is an encounter with the love of the father revealed in and through the sacrifice of Jesus for God so loved the world that was the foundation of every other thing he did God so loved not for God so wanted a name Cain built a city because he wanted a name Nimrod the son of Cush killed his father married his mother began to manipulate the the realm of the spirit to build a city in the line of China because they wanted a name he said go to come let us make bricks and mortar let us build a city whose top whose tower will reach the heavens and let us make a name but the Bible says for God so loved not himself not for God so loved heaven for God so loved the world that's the foundation of everything so you are not a Christian just because you pray in tongues you are not a Christian just because you, you gave your life to Jesus you are not a Christian just because you are an apostle or a prophet or a, a whatever it is you are not a Christian just because the Word of God is working in your life and you are having prosperity you are having cars houses the the I, I told you that the apex of Christianity is not even revelation is love that means if I look at your life and see every other thing but love I have a right to question the validity of your encounter even if I see miracles even if I see prayer even if I see fasting even if I see healing as good as it is our dear brother here the deaf and dumb guy who was healed as powerful as all that is let me tell you if you do not have love you weigh very small in the spirit is God blessing us I have watched believers and I have seen the degree to which we have ignored the subject of love in pursuit for power in pursuit for miracles right now if you come to the body of Christ and what you are presenting is love you weigh very small if you come and what you are presenting is deep revelation people say that's right now you are talking if you come and what you have to present is signs wonders miracles you hold the mic and people are shouting up and down people say my god who is this where did he come from if you come and you present skill if you come and you present prosperity you dress well you have a lot of money you come and you present intelligence you are greatly celebrated but when you come and what you have is love people look at you and pity you and wonder where you have been that you did not get more because we have indoctrinated ourselves that only frustrated people have love as the last resort to give the Bible says this is a commandment that I have given you in addition to power in addition to grace you must have love let me tell you something years ago quite quite some years ago I was in secondary school then we were going to hold a crusade and so we went to a church you know coming from an orthodox background we went to a church it was a pentecostal church we were used to 
the orthodox churches around giving us speakers amplifier to use for our programs so we went to one nice pentecostal church i saw the way they were jumping their sounds were powerful and i almost believed i said no we've, we've gotten it we sat down there and i remember the man of god preach on solomon's wealth that was the first time i saw people jumping up and down because they were excited i said what is going on in this church you know coming from an orthodox background how can somebody just be jumping because you believe that things will work for you, you know and then we finished everything and we told the man we said we're young boys who just love god with all our heart and we're putting a little crusade you know this is our school we have permission from the school and we just want you to at least help us with some equipment or at least advise us on how to go about it the man was excited that day he said come the next day I, i'm happy you know i remember you people remind me of myself and we went there happily and it's as if it's not the man we saw again the next day we got there and after waiting the man came out and said what are you looking for we said we are the young boys again remember us and he looked at us and said, what young boys he said did we come with a seat i remember I said, what what's it look at us what are we saying we came to beg for speakers you are asking <laughs> you are asking us for seed and i remember that man insulted us physical insult not not like a parable you know how i don't want to use vulgar words that man insulted us insulted everything and asked us to go out here that the the, the, the church is is a church a a, a rental a, a play, you know he just and that day i remember walking back i was broken it wasn't about the sound again i said they did have to be this harsh you would have just told us young people we appreciate your zeal but we don't do this our system in this church doesn't work that way but let me at least pray for you god bless you oh god give them speakers it's you you are they are serving you know something as as matured as that and this man just i i was touched i remember him asking that did we come with a seed you know he thought we came to sow maybe for something and we said no where will the seed come from can't you see us with school uniform you know and all of that and that man that day i went back and i really began to think and i said okay so how does this man treat his members if boys as young as that we are like his children and you are shamelessly asking that i bring out a seed if i had brought out my how much is the pocket money there's not more than 100 naira you mean you i will carry my 100 naira and give and you truly will collect instead of him to even give us something and say on the way maybe <laughs> take that's when i knew that the body of christ has a serious problem with the issue of love and let me tell you this even till today that problem has not been solved in the body of christ the part that has been solved is our love towards god oh boy we love god we love god i testify even the devil knows we love god people have died for jesus people have been butchered for jesus people have relinquished their wealth their estate and everything for jesus but the bible says hearing it says by this shall all men know not when you give your car for god and all of that but when you have love one to another the problem is expressing the reality of the love of the father so that your world will also be witnesses that in addition to power in addition to revelation in addition to miracles signs wonders that the love of god is established in you not just towards him alone but towards god towards men there is very little love from one believer to another we are largely self-centered and selfish beings now when it comes to god we can give everything we love god and all of that but when it comes to men i i never i never cease to marvel my brothers and my sisters at the level of selfishness and self-centeredness that is enshrined even in the best of us are we together that the entire motivation behind the things that people do is an appetite for self-aggrandizement has nothing to do with deliberately focusing on the lifting the blessing of another person if i have nothing to gain from your life then you remain useless until the day a need for you arises he 
is a terrible philosophy so our christianity on one side people clap for us because of the display of revelation and power and miracles i mean i just had this my wonderful boys these guys did like 12 hours praying non-stop six hours or so in the morning and they did a vigil non-stop you, you can't imagine that level of capacity in the spirit but when it comes to the love issue the world hates us and we we are we are like an order are we together now an order because that that love issue cancels out everything and it looks like we were faking the prayer we were faking the fasting we were faking the revelations the summary of christianity is not power it's not miracles it's not signs and wonders is the revelation of the love of god the revelation of the love of God the revelation of the love of God that means if all that you do in what you call Christianity love is not captured not just towards God alone but towards men provable then it's a sign the Bible says that you are still in darkness and that you dwell in death are we together We're going to read, we're still in epistle, the epistle of St. John, 1 John chapter 3. Mighty God. We'll read from verse 14 um, down to 18 and then we'll jump to 23. 14 down to 18. Let's go. We know that we have passed from death unto life. Why? Because we love the brethren he that loveth not his brother abided in death we're reading to 18 whosoever hated his brother is a what that means you are doing the exact same thing with terrorists this is god speaking whosoever hated his brother is a murderer and ye know that no murderer had eternal life abiding in him how many murderers do we have holding mics as men of god how many murderer apostles, murderer prophets, murderer teachers, murderer prayer warriors, murderer fasting giants do we have? Hereby perceive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives not just for him but for our brethren. Next verse. But whoso had this world's good material things any kind of physical maybe monetary you know privileges or benefits and see it his brother have need and shorted up his bowels of compassion from him how dwelleth the love of god in him this is a question now he's using an aspect that should be used as a litmus test for love that's not the only aspect but he's just borrowing an aspect to say for instance if you see a brother that you claim to love a sister you claim to love suffering and you have the capacity remember the bible says withhold not good from them with which it is due when it is within your power it says my little children let us not love in word i love you i love you turn to your neighbor and say i love you you turn and say i love you neither in tongue but in deed and in truth 23 and this is the commandment this is his commandment are you seeing again a commandment that we should believe on the name of his son jesus christ and love one another believe in jesus love one another believe in jesus love one another I learned this very early in ministry please come a few of you maybe one two three four just come stand here I learned this very early in ministry that as a man of God every time God gives you the privilege to have people sit like you are sitting and listen to you that all those people you see are products they are testimonies that you should not disregard from people who have been broken and battered by life 
are we together to people who have been disappointed by life to those who are trying to ask is God still alive all of these people come together to your church or fellowship or group just because they are laughing during praise and worship does not mean everything is all right let me tell you the average church member is already a testimony reaching your church to sit down there are we together sometimes we trivialize how far the love of god flowing through us to people did you know that just turning to your neighbor they say turn to your neighbor and just say god bless you to you is a joke because they just paid you salary but to someone else that's the first time he's hearing a positive word in more than a year this is not some western emotional thing there are people who are really wounded let me tell you the truth there are people who are really really broken I know a woman who lost three of her children in one day just died like that in one day like that like Job they announced to you you lost someone and now that person comes to church just because the woman is Muslim faith to dance around you will be surprised how far just a show of love did you know that no matter what Rema you are preaching that day to enter here and go out there many of us have never been wounded by life to a level that you don't even all that you want is a song not a message has that happened to you to a point that a message looks like an attack from hell you don't even want to hear anything you carry your bible and you don't want to open the only thing you want is just to hear someone sing the word and the life of god to you and then here you come as a man of god god gives you the privilege to minister the life and the power of God to these people and all you are concerned about is let them come and hear my revelation let them come and hear the rema let them come and see the signs and the wonders and while people are jumping and you join Satan to flatter you there believing you are impressing everybody someone is sitting and you are totally not ministering to the person I have seen in my little life and in ministry what the love of god expressed can do not the love of god reserved the love of god expressed if the love of god is not expressed it cannot profit anyone i have had the privilege to allow the love of god flow from and through me to people and i am amazed to see the healing power to see the restoring power of that love there are times you know because this place is like a place of pilgrimage sometimes you see people stand in the queue and some of them are men of god they come frustrated beaten by ministry they have kept every spiritual law to be kept but nothing is working and they just come regardless of what you know let me tell you something i know many of you wonder why sometimes after preaching so powerfully miracle signs and wonders i may still wait again behind to see people and sometimes i can see people so late into the night and you are wondering didn't they pray for you just believe and go and sometimes the people that join the queue they are funny exactly what i labored for two hours on stage they say apostle my life i preach a message of hope and now the person apostle i don't even know where to start my life he said what exactly he said where, where, where will i start from do you have time he said i can't you see the queue he said i need time and you know you look at them and you almost are saying you are are you stupid you know i've been standing while you are seated but you just remember that this person look beyond what their mouth is saying hear what their hearts are saying their hearts are saying i am dying and dying seriously i found my way as an act of god's mercy here don't let me go that way you will be surprised that that little ministration to that one person is more powerful than the person from the blind eye and the deaf ear that you open that person will go back and die defending what you represent not because you gave revelation you reveal the love of god it is ugly to call upon the name of the lord and turn and people see that what flows through you to men is not the love and the power of god
love is powerful it is supernatural love can heal the tangibility of this love expressed through you can change your world i have seen in my own little life that one of the most powerful platform for soul winning much more than miracle signs and wonders and the demonstration of the power of god is love evangelism through love i teach our school of ministry students that there is a dimension of evangelism that love preaches people watch your life and see the sense of empathy the sense of courtesy you show them the excellency of a mindset a frame of thinking that cannot be afforded in this earth and they look at you and they wonder how a man's life can be this beautiful when they know you should be angry they see you demonstrate a level of maturity that men don't have they know the level at which they offended you any human being should be angry and you laugh off something that someone is dying over and they look at your life and wonder this love is not human and you buy them over not just to your god but to your philosophies about life there is a dimension of evangelism that only the love of god can present to a dying world is god helping us and i think this is a powerful way because the lord declared that this is a year of signs and wonders and truly we have seen the mighty hand of god but that in addition to all of these signs and wonders we must go back to understand the essence of all that we are doing brothers and sisters the essence is not to build a name for a man or a people it is not it is not to to multiply the influence of a man or people is an opportunity and a privilege given by God to us to be able to reveal the love the tangibility of God's love first to us from God and then through our lives there are many homes today come darling there are many homes today that Jesus is not glorified there is tongues in that house you hear tongues five o'clock there is an alarm that even from your house you will hear you will know that christians have woken up are we together but by nine you also hear the sound of the slap that comes from your own house too you know that christians are misrepresenting god somewhere in that house too there's tongues there's miracles signs and wonders but no love father has his own ego mother has her own pride two of them have read books about how everybody should depend defend their own uh, their own psychological estate and everybody is unwilling to pay the price to let the love of jesus be revealed and then here comes the arrogant children and their own juvenile deliquence exuberance that came from everywhere and then they bring it and add to the mix again and an onlooker is watching christians and they're saying come to my church come and be a christian and they're saying to become this you are a joker i know that i'm not there yet but this is not the way i i when i see the way i know that this way was created by god this one was created by culture and pride the love of god how many bosses and managers really love their workers how many men of god love their workers how many men of god love their pastors and people and leaders those who labor with all their heart to lift up the hands of the man of god to see jesus glorified how many people you must not only love god you must love men and that love that comes first from god to you is not supposed to come out immediately the love is supposed to stay and walk in you it's supposed to produce something first in your life that you become a partaker of what the love of god can do to a man and then out of the abundance of that experience you now begin to allow that love to flow to people 
regardless of culture I, I say this with all humility and with all thanks to God I will never do it as a person you will never anybody from whatever culture and whatever background you are more than welcome in koinonia you will never come to koinonia and say me I am from this where are the people from my state come and I know no man after the flesh if it is true that we hail from a kingdom that has vetoed our backgrounds it must show in our convictions are we together now love let me share with you very briefly before we go to first corinthians 13 i wrote down here four ways to demonstrate the love of god four scriptural ways thank you guys thank you four scriptural ways that the bible recommends as a system for allowing the love of god flow from you and through you to our world number one the first way that we reveal the love of god to our world is through the ministry of intercession intercession for the lost intercession for the hurting it is a show of love the ability to stand and pray rather than talk pray rather than talk about your parents pray rather than talk about what is not happening or what is happening pray the ministry of intercession is not only a proof of might in the spirit is a proof of love that I can go to my secret place and with all the the lists that I have I decide to shelve my own desires and begin to call the name of a person to God it is love whoever you take to God you love that person it's true are we together oh love bless this family i may not have the finances to bless them but lord i saw that woman and i hear they are at the verge of a divorce lord would you hearken to my prayer i stand to pray i know that they are not bad people some the devil is is playing games in that house and lord i stand as a watchman on behalf of that family and it's not that you just go to them and say remember i prayed for you you know there's this funny thing that happens in africa once you make it people come and bully you with prayer they say i prayed for you when you were not in now that you are this ah, ah. that means there should be a, some kind of remuneration that comes as a reward intercession motivated not by selfishness genuine love lord i pray i pray i have seen this family and nothing goes well in this family you have put the burden in my heart lord i don't even know the name of the members but thank god i'm talking to an all-wise god i saw them after koinonia and there was a burden i don't know anybody in the family but lord i'm praying arise oh god let their enemies be scattered for the sake of your glory and god is looking and saying what kind of a woman is this what kind of a man is this and while they are doing that you also have your own concerns areas you are trusting god to touch intercession for the lost the body of christ has forgotten this we talk about people who are not saved and we say if they like they shouldn't be born again now rapture is soon coming you know we make those kinds of statements and we don't have respect for the souls of people the bible says it is not god's desire that any soul should perish some of us have loved ones today we know now i'm not i'm not trying to be sarcastic or get you emotional but some of us right now our loved ones today if they drop dead they are going straight to hell straight no discussion no nothing you may be saying apostle i tried to preach to them and they will not even hear me that's when you should go to god lord my father cannot go to hell he's still alive lord my mother cannot go to hell and while you are praying listen carefully while you are praying for them some of them can even be insulting you at the point you are praying that's why it's an act of love it's not an act of faith it's an act of love are we together 
Jesus hung on that cross and saw the foolish and ignorant mankind that did not know that he did not come to die for himself he was on that cross and there were two thieves remember one foolish thief and one wise one they were both thieves and they were about to be punished for a wrong that they committed are we together now and one was busy you know blaming and talking nonsense against jesus and then the other one mm -mm 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 -mm. remember we are suffering for a just cause this man is innocent and jesus looks at him with compassion and says this day today you didn't request it he didn't say have mercy on me he said today you will be with me in paradise the matthias stephen the bible lets us know they were stoning this man stoning him to death how do you pray for people who stone you are you getting what i'm saying now that someone is persecuted not that he persecuted you he's doing it at that point and yet you pray for him this is maturity these are the things that weigh so much in the spirit these are the kinds of people that when they appear at the shores the gates of eternity the applause that we receive them with not the mundane things we clap for people here on earth that weigh very little intercession lord change them lord change them while you are talking your stubborn brother just enters smelling um smell smelling not alcohol um this i i don't know why i always forget the name and the whole room and he looks at you and you feel frustrated and the devil wants to use your senses to say look at the person you are wasting your time praying for and even you you have to ask yourself will this guy ever change and in your dreams you are seeing a man of god not a smoker and then the anger will make you say i will beat this boy and kill him one i will let police kill him i will kill him by myself and god says you continue praying one day when god is fed up with that nonsense as that gentleman God will win him by himself. Say by himself. You don't know God too does evangelism. Ask Paul. Saul was on his way to Damascus. As before. And my brothers and my sisters, that light knocked him down. Paul said, Lord. A man that went to collect a letter from a high priest. There's no man that Jesus cannot save. Oh, let me tell you the truth. There is no man that Jesus cannot save. God turned an arrogant king to a beast to eat for seven years so that he would know that there is a God that reigns in heaven. God can go to any length to make sure our loved ones are saved. If we allow that incense of intercession to rise, to say, Lord, please, let them not die this way. Some of us, your salvation was 20 years of prayer by your mother and father. Is that true? especially some of us who came from you know other faiths aside from christianity you think you just got born again you just became a christian no that mama never went to school never had prosperity but 5 a.m on the dot rain or sunshine she will get up the ministry of intercession we must return back with a genuine burden for souls and a genuine burden for being concerned about the eternal destiny of people thank god for prosperity thank god for advancement thank god for jobs thank god for increase thank god for signs and wonders thank god for growth in ministry but my brothers if our hope is only in this life we are of all men most miserable it's true it's true that your mind becomes covered from an eternal perspective and all that is in you is let me buy a car let me be rich nothing is wrong with that don't get me wrong but if all you solve for people is earthly problems and their eternal destiny is still left in the dark you didn't do much for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen for thine is the kingdom 
the power and the glory forever and ever amen john did no mighty miracles but he was called the greatest of the prophets because he was the one who ordained the one who will save the souls of men no miracle worker prophet in the bible could save the souls of men they could heal bodies they could even change territories but they could not touch the souls of men i pray that someone will receive grace for intercession that even during this christmas period much more than chickens much more than turkeys and jumping around that you write the list of your loved ones that you write the list of people that are hurting you just heard that a woman was in my Duguri and boko haram just blew her husband and blew everybody have the conscience to think what would this woman be going through lord you are the prince of peace come through for this family lord come through for this family some of us like i preached the last time we are already approaching a level in the spirit where if god does not help us we love god but our hearts are like stone say stone a stone does not feel you match it it looks at you there the Bible says whose hearts have been seared with hot iron. Conscienceless. Doesn't matter what happens to anybody around me. Provided it is not me. To hell with them. No sir. Number two. The second way. That we demonstrate the love of God. To our world. And to men is to seek the good and the well-being of one another especially the brethren to seek the good and the well-being of one another especially the brethren who are the brethren members of the household of faith not just members of your church not just members of your denomination administratively yes but then from a kingdom perspective everyone who names the name of christ and is part of the larger body of believers belongs to this family of faith and you have a responsibility that in showing the love of god you genuinely seek the good and the well-being of one another and especially the brethren let's walk through a few scriptures here is god blessing someone already titus chapter 3 please give it to us media let's hurry up titus chapter 3 and verse 2 1 verse titus chapter 3 one to read with me koinonia one to read to speak evil of no man uh-huh to be no brawlers but gentle showing all meekness unto all men that you speak evil of no man is one of the ways that you show love and let me tell you this there is a big problem with this statement in africa africa is a wonderful place i'm an african a nigerian and i'm proud of it but let me tell you this most over 99 percent of the culture and the background the the cultural setting of africa thrives on bad mouthing are we together thrives on ill speaking the moment something nice is happening you usually will find people who will group themselves according to their achievements or failures and then they create a theme and now begin to attack the progress of people it is a very difficult thing to find genuine show to find people in africa that genuinely love you and seek your good if you are failing and you are not doing anything that's all right but let the hand of god just by any means come near your life africans have a bitter spirit just because we came from a foundation of suffering does not mean we distribute our pain across everyone including our family members it's only in africa you feel guilty for doing well in life and doing well early in life 
the moment they see a young man doing well everybody gets angry say look not everything that glitters is gold and we start bringing wise sayings that are supposed to be good but come from an evil heart seek the good and the well-being of others he says to speak evil of no man listen it's a training that the spirit of god can help you to give yourself make up your mind to always be positive when you see people don't just always look for what is wrong in people it's no news that people are a combination of assets and liabilities take your eyes away from the things that represent setbacks and weaknesses and focus on the things that represent strength did you know that if somebody is standing now you look at the person and uh you always your eyes will go to what is wrong ah this guy is nice but why didn't he comb his hair we are negative it's, it's a training by the devil 99 wonderful things about your sister but just because of the one challenge you focus on it as if that's the only thing there the man of god is an evangelist but Kai, he's anointed but he talks too much let's talk about the talking too much and you spend three hours as if that's the only thing there no no philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might be effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ it is healthy to acknowledge the good things in you and people did you know listen to me some of you you have been the reason for your own downfall because of how we have been indoctrinated you even hate yourself is is embarrassing to you when you find good things in your own life things that are not worthy so someone says ah but god tried for you you're, you're a beautiful lady say, ah, beauty where and then you you uh, you you uh, and you go back and then you say ah god but i'm beautiful but what of this this head this is the problem you see and god is watching and said ingratitude i tried for you but this one you know all those kinds of things and you carry that pain and transfer it to everybody as though they are observing what you are observing whereas they are minding their business they smile at you why are you smiling at me my head abby who told you that's what the person is thinking about what's the person's business with your head people have their issues my brothers and my sisters listen our personal frustrations are the vistas upon which we get what we think people are saying and so we presume on people because of our personal frustrations so whereas they are minding their business you create things that are not there believing that's what people are thinking and saying to speak evil of no man Ephesians chapter 4 verse 31 to 32 God is delivering someone because you are going home some of you and you are going home God doesn't want it to be the way it was last year that as soon as you enter home you look at everybody and you find out that they are praying and they don't even pray in tongues they are not very anointed and you stand with your Pentecostal pride you just look and say my God look at these guys I mean prayer zero they are, and, and you see that air of pride but the Bible says to speak evil of no man some of you are going back to your local churches where you have your very old reverend and you are about to say all kinds of things again and you go there with your enlightenment dimensions in the spirit all kinds of things you uh, you have you can quote all the scriptures and while you sit down the pastor is making a mistake with his quotations and the rest you just laugh and say oh dear these people and you see them singing a song you are a music minister they are singing a song playing off key they don't even know when the song has finished and you come remember you are producing an album and that, that anger and that pride listen you are very matured when you see wrong things and have the discipline to still be quiet are you getting what i'm saying now listen carefully let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking he said put away from you with all malice uh-huh and be ye kind one to another tender-hearted forgiving one another even as god for christ's sake had forgiven you go ahead next verse oh are you sure that's that's all please go back for okay yeah that's true and be ye kind go back to um 30 31 
let all bitterness wrath anger clamor evil speaking be put away say i put away all bitterness all wrath all anger all evil speaking are we together uh-huh see her coming again see him coming just because they bought bag of rice so they didn't even allow me see it me that i'm the one that brought it you see that love is not child's play yes learn to be positive about people do you know there are some of us you don't have any discussion if you are asked to not say anything negative you'll be surprised how you will look for what to say and there's nothing else to say because the basis for discussions now, now this is not tell them tonight is mm, i'm giving you an admonishment is something i have trained myself and i still continue to train myself to do once you are not negatively communicating something you honestly don't have any discussion again to a point that you are used to be negative ah what happened in koinonia today ah, mighty it was wonderful but i think the light went off somewhere i don't know what happened technical eh? You didn't enjoy the worship you didn't enjoy the word the fellowship i refuse to be negative in my life truly i refuse it i see the good in people it's not news that people are imperfect you are not just knowing news is only news when it is new it's an old story the imperfection of men is something that has been documented all through scripture so when your father shouts at you and insults you it's not news you must build a fortification around your life to still love in spite of what happens colossians chapter 3 we'll read verse 8 and down to 15 colossians chapter 3 is god blessing someone now he said but now ye also put off all this ready let's read the list anger wrath malice blasphemy filthy communication out of your mouth uh-huh lie not one to another seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds stop here a bit let's not rush this thing that is just written there there are many of us lying for you is not an attack it's something that is self-inflicted you give satan room by yourself let me tell you something the bible says in the multitude of words multitude of words there are many of us the level at which we lie is disturbing even god is concerned are we together you can sit down and lie for three hours non-stop I'm not condemning you it's a concern must you say and you know when everybody keeps quiet and they are listening to you for a long time is to tell you they are beginning to pick the signals learn it that itch to always be the controlling speaker in the midst of people and then there's nothing to say and you begin to create stories and do you know when you lie for a long time you too will believe it you will forget that it once started as a lie lie not to one another seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds verse 10 and have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him uh-huh okay let's let's jump to 14 and, and then 15 that's that's where i'm looking for 14 and 15. it says above all these things put on that's love now which is the bond of perfectness the last verse and let the peace of god rule in your hearts to the which you were also called in one body and be ye thankful that you put the bond of perfectness you must receive grace tonight to seek the good of others 
to seek the good of others that i genuinely come sam oh, by the way you are looking lovely with your agbara this my dear people i mean i saw all of them you are not the only one welcome come 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 quickly drama i mean look at look at this beautiful stand this side this is this is this is destiny i'm very proud of you i mean when you see the son of man in power and glory i, I mean the world can be pending every day a time will come it will become flesh so i'm happy this is absolutely beautiful praise the lord you look at these people and say what is there in Agbada? what is there do you have it you see you see don't trivialize the help of god in people's lives don't be negative listen 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 i brought them out to fish out something from you just because it's not you standing here are you seeing do you know the same thing we criticize we secretly want we secretly admire just because it is not you are we together now what is there this guy that i know that he even borrowed money to buy it okay we agree but he's still wearing it just celebrate god with him and be honest and say wow i thank god this is beautiful you look very handsome here and be truthful try it and see how your heart will almost want to fall that's to tell you there was something there needing correction for a long time notice how uncomfortable we feel every time we go all out of our way to celebrate people that's to tell you it doesn't come natural there is a negative build up that the devil has planted there oh sam you're looking wonderful oh you're looking nice and then you feel cheated because you feel so who will now celebrate me now oh the lord just blessed me with a car i'm a young man i just bought and then you go and look at it you say he bless you with a golf or a car is it this uh this golf that the door you have to put your hand inside and open it is this a car you see listen 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 it is a very devilish approach it's a luciferian spirit at least the person is not a thief he's openly walking his way slowly through life are we together wow this is wonderful and it's even ashamed though i say sorry sir my door is from inside they'll say no problem the bible says line upon line and you encourage the person not that you sit down and say ah, ah now oh, yo, is this the car somebody say come and dedicate my house and you go and say which of the rooms ah this one is leaking this one is open they didn't plaster everything where is your television say well we're still trusting god for now i have a little matra and you just laugh and clap your hands when you are ready call me god is watching just because god has helped you does not mean you turn back at people and look at them no let me tell you the truth one of the reasons why i seldom visit people aside from my busy schedules is because sometimes i i don't like the pressure that i see in families when they know that apostle is coming sometimes they go all out of their way to do things and sometimes things that are more than their financial level no if it is gary you drink in your house if i come let's drink it together if i'm too big to drink the gary then i leave it there that's what you have don't don't put yourself under trouble apostle is not god he's a man are, are you getting what i'm saying now yes don't speak evil of people and don't discourage people i remember times when I, i'm glad we're all here my my friends oh manasseh is here with us by the way bless you thank you manasseh listen listen i'm not ashamed to say there were times in my life when i would never dream of the things god is doing now in terms of the help of god on my life that's why when i see people and you know sometimes they try to feel bad and say apostle see us we are just coming this my trouser is 200 and i say thank god and wear it with dignity and honor a day will come you will be able to carry everything and give the nations success is not any man's personal property there are keys and everybody can step into it what you are learning will bring you there yes it will yes it will there's nothing to hide a day will come you will sit down and turn to your garage and say lord look at what you have done all you you will go down on your knees and say god what have you done to me and god says i'm just starting since you gave me your heart 
but don't laugh at people don't be sarcastic don't speak evil of people i just got a job what job one factory like this that makes uh, i'm still here to understand what they make how much is your salary well i get six thousand five and you say six thousand five that's what i just sent somebody to go and use to buy food for me and i said ah you mean that's what you get per month well may god help you no that's wickedness it's not even just being bad it's wickedness because you are discouraging that person six thousand five gotten through honor is better than one million that is gotten through deceit that person is better than many young nigerians crossing their legs waiting for their parents to die so that they'll take their inheritance at least the man is demonstrating responsibility i assure you if that person continues he will not remain at six five god is the one who supervises his laws are we together thank you guys god bless you thank you seek the good of one another seek the good of one another when you hear that something is is going wrong with someone don't just turn and say eh, i told him i told him no you know a gentleman just told me something you know that 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 they stole from him not too long and my heart was beating i said oh god all these thieves oh god direct the policemen to where these people gather and let them at least apprehend them why will they come and cause pain to a family like this when it does not concern you and you still feel burdened you are a good person don't wait until the day the trouble comes to your house Mordecai was already seated there but he went to fetch his village niece and said let her be lifted too he would have said at least I'm in the palace he didn't know that her that she brought would be the secret to his own lifting too Mordecai would have remained in the palace and said no so that this lady will become queen one day and now i will now bow the knee to her no way he would have left her there but mordecai said come 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 they are looking for king is looking for a wife oh yeah go and join the line and she went and became queen and forgot about mordecai mordecai said no problem and mordecai never said you forgot about me i will tell the king you are a jew and you will see what they will do to you no his burden was because of what Haman was doing, not his own personal care. May God give us the gift of good people. Good people. That people look at you and they want to be your friends. I will tell you the reason why many of you don't have friends. You are not good people. I'm not insulting you. It's a description. That attribute... <laughs> that attribute of goodness is not there nobody can trust what you can say about them when they are not there the moment you say wow wonderful they are afraid of going because they don't know what you are going to say as soon as they shut the door you just call the other person and say, more stupid person. no can't you be good and genuinely good pastor alpha god bless you you are a blessing and when he closes the door you say wow praise the lord i truly am happy for him make up your mind that you are truly going to be a good person number three the third way to express the love of God is through giving your giving John 3 16 giving John 3 16 for God so loved the world when I say giving I'm not just talking of money alone money is not the only thing you give you can give advice you can give you can bring your reputation and your credibility for someone to leverage upon to rise it's a gift are we together now it's a gift a gentleman just got a job and I was so happy when he told me he got the job because he comes from a family where nobody had really risen and he cried to me and where where he was looking for that job God gave me the privilege to know somebody there and I called the person I said I know this person you know please if there's a way you people can help him oh my apostle I'll do my best it's not easy but I'll do the best for you and he called me like the end towards the end of November 
to say are you sure can you vouch for this person i said well i can't guarantee for any i'm not god but i can tell you he's a nice person and that's it the guy called me rejoicing and it's a place that the salary i mean is something that you will glorify god if they give you the salary and i was happy when your credibility is given as a gift and someone experiences the greatness of god through it is a gift gift is not always about money are we together now you can give your expertise during our peace concert and and the time we had to bless our community many professionals here gave of their skills our doctors our medical personnel our lab technicians everyone there are people serving in this house and what they are doing requires skill and they pay themselves to train themselves yet they give it free it's a gift and it's proof of love for god so loved the world that he gave his only everybody say his only there are times you have to give even your only you don't have to give only when you have options you can give your only that's what makes your gift sacrifice first john chapter 3 17 and 18 first john chapter 3 we read it earlier on let's just look at it again he said but whoso hath this world's good and see it his brother and see it his brother have need and shorted up his bowels of compassion from him how dwelleth the love of god in him many believers are not genuine givers they are givers to men of god they are givers to people who can see and accredit what they are doing but their benevolence never gets to people who don't have what it takes to bless them you are truly a giver not just when you bless people who have what it takes to acknowledge you alone are we together now if you buy me a car today i appreciate you but if someone is looking for lunch especially now you can't do everything to everybody but my brothers and my sisters your life has to at least be a blessing to somebody it can't be so bad that you cannot bless somebody some of these are children around their school fees they belong to a lot of these government schools and some of them sincerely i don't think their school fees is up to i'm not sure it's up to two thousand so you don't have to wait until you have a foundation call your name foundation no You can communicate the love of christ there are times i look at people and you look you know hunger has a presence you know this person has not eaten it's not that he has not eaten well he has not eaten let's not act like we are not aware of these things you don't have to wait sometimes until people come and beg you god has helped you and you are able to at least reach out to somebody now the christmas period is coming and there are so many people who are sitting some are already depressed wondering even if it is half tier of rice that you buy and say mama thank you and she looks at you and says, my daughter did you have to do this i thought you were a copper you say no problem we are receiving twenty thousand say from your twenty thousand that's what you have done say mama just to bless you genuinely let me tell you aside from the blessing that follows giving giving is more than is better than greed even if there were no blessing you are healthy when you give the psychological feeling of being a blessing is health to you i'm not a doctor but i've lived long enough to know what giving can do to you don't you know that it takes a lot of effort to be great the torture you go through by lying that you don't have when you have <laughs> yes you do that to 100 people and you see what happens to your health giving is a way to be healthy because when you give you create laughter the sense of fulfillment that comes knowing i may not have gotten to my future but i'm the reason why this woman is laughing i'm the reason why her children are in school lord i give you the praise and you know you are bringing joy to the heart of the father and you know you are making impact you are not blessing the whole world but one at a time it will keep you healthy giving i am a giver I'm not ashamed to say it and I'm not afraid to say it I'm a giver 
and I will continue to give. Not many people can say this because we are afraid that by the time you say you are a giver, someone says, thank you, Jesus. I came to the right place. <laughs> I mean, God, thank you. This is koinonia. After service, I'm waiting. I will beg apostle and I'll remind him, apostle, you are a giver. Don't, don't forget. I'm still not afraid. I am a giver. It's true. It has nothing to do with abundance. It's a spirit. There is a grace that helps men give. If you cannot give money, you can give access. If you cannot, you can. Do you know prayer is a gift? Somebody's secret place is carrying to advocate for you. Lord bless this person. God answered people in the Bible for the sake of others. It's a gift. Please, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, conquer greed. My brothers and my sisters, conquer greed, especially greed in the area of finances. Conquer it. There are many bad husbands in the world who are greedy. Their hands are like this. There are many bad wives who are in the world. Their hands are like this. There are many bad children in the world who will rather use their money to bury their dead parents than to at least bring joy to them now it is not a scriptural responsibility of a son or a, and a daughter to take care of their parents mm -mm. parents give wealth to children not children to parents are we together now but if for any reason your parents did not know the way and god has now helped you to come you put a smile on their face you don't sit down and say you punished me it's because of you i went to a nonsense school i had to re-educate myself again to get a job and now you want me to come and give you this no give give immediately after the grace you are going to see this my little children run and come do you know it never tires me to hug and bless these children with all my heart and when i see them sometimes i know they are hungry because children don't have that grace to stay that long some of them came way before service started and my body is itching wondering what can i do do i interrupt the welfare to say carry all the donuts and come and give the children you know it was while i was driving coming here that i just remembered that ah, we didn't do anything for our children no oh, at least would have made one of these gentlemen father christmas and given so even if it's today even if it's just the cap and giving the children a little hamper biscuit and something what don't punish them because you didn't have the privilege to enjoy it i still feel sad as i'm talking to you like this our children deserve to see the love of god through us you see these children some of them prayer band on tuesday when you are not praying they are there praying praying in fluent tongues advocating oh god they raise a prayer point and they join intelligently they clap hands they keep quiet too they are far older than their age because their love for god has increased their wisdom they deserve honor i pray for you that you will be givers i truly pray for you with all my heart kill greed kill greed let visitors not come to your house and you see that as if you are not aware somebody is there let's be sincere how much is a loaf of bread huh? buy a loaf of bread make tea or something and don't and don't do it complaining there's a way you give that is better to not even collect from you because the anger you put on the, what you are giving is it should not be received is this for me it's your own now take it now you're not seeing please Abba, you are doing as if you have never eaten that's not giving there is an attitude that follows giving don't just laugh i'm serious about what i'm saying because many of us the way you give the person who receives feels so bad uncle please help me with one thousand after probing the person probing the person as if you are giving the person employment you will now give the person this and say okay so i've given you this now i must see that bar. and you frustrate and humiliate the people no it has nothing to do with culture if you can't give to god and you can't bless people your home is already in trouble married or not it's a habit it will not just suddenly be created when you get married gentlemen give gentlemen give conquer greed don't let the awareness of lack and insufficiency 
make you to not be a giver learn to give number four I want you to listen very carefully to this point the fourth way that I wrote down here to show love is to be a peacemaker write it down the fourth way to express the love of God to the world a determination that you will be a peacemaker much more than seeking the good and the well-being of others that you will be a peacemaker Matthew chapter 5 and verse 9 the Bible says blessed are the peacemakers there are people that the Bible calls peacemakers for they shall be called the children or the sons of God blessed are the peacemakers Romans chapter 14 and verse 19 Romans chapter 14 and verse 19 let us therefore let's read together one to read let us therefore uh -huh, follow after the things which make for peace and the things wherewith one may edify another he said follow the things that make for peace that means pursuit is not enough you should check how many people will this destroy for me to get it and when you find out it will destroy too many people is not worth it all things are lawful but not all things are expedient you must trust God for grace not everything pursuable is worth pursuing sometimes when you look at the destruction it creates to too many people you just say it's not worth it blessed are the peacemakers he says let's follow the things that make for peace one more scripture and i'll tell you a few things about being a peacemaker romans chapter 12 and verse 18 12 18 romans chapter 12 one to read please if it be possible as much as it lieth in you uh-huh live peaceably with all men everybody say it is possible leave that scripture there the bible says as much as is possible the holy spirit represent capacity for possibilities so it is possible that you can live with peace do you know this is a plea because men are harsh they will give you reasons to fight they will give you reasons to do you know there are people who will intentionally look forward to the day they pick a fight with you and the bible says if it's if it lies in you live peaceably live peaceably let me tell you this i have learned in my little life i live a very happy and a very peaceful life believe me a very happy and a peaceful life intentionally designed when it comes to the issue of peace there are a number of things you need to know number one that the troubles around you does not have to get into you listen carefully you want to enjoy peace and be a peacemaker my brothers and my sisters listen to me there is no one under the sound of my voice who has not seen all kinds of troubles and storms in your life it is not unusual to see storms it is not unusual to be surrounded by uncomfortable situations listen very carefully but the bible teaches that in the midst of storms men can find peace there are many people you look at them looking at looking far older than they really are wrinkling themselves and you ask them why now smile and they say smile for what are you not aware of what nigeria is like huh? are you aware they've not paid me salary for three months are you aware my wife is not working i'm angry in fact the other day i was thinking of killing myself I made up my mind that there is nothing in my life that sustains the ability to disturb the restfulness of my heart it is true I live a very peaceful life I've already calculated the worst thing that can happen to me and is death and I found out that even in it I'm still victorious hmm. it's true you must sit down and make up your mind listen my brothers and my sisters the value of peace cannot be gotten for any other thing 
no matter what else you have in your life if you don't have peace and if you don't communicate peace to others come pastor alpha come pastor femi you are going to match his leg gently oh. what literally stepping on someone's toes okay put your sorry eh? now watch this what do you think pastor femi's wife would do seeing this person stepping on her husband's toe i'm forget about them men can pretend and just go through the heat and sweat it out but the women what do you think is happening now you are stepping on my husband and then i step on the toe and even add this and i'm putting a burden i'm just giving you an example you are stepping on his toe and someone is observing do you know it is within his power to choose whether to still live in peace or to make trouble out of it you must master the art of deflating situations that were inflated by darkness to complicate your life now it is true that this person is matching his leg and now he can gently tell him okay take it and do you know you can decide to keep quiet with this just as an example you can keep quiet with this and trivialize it and let things go giving an assumption that he did not know what he was doing or you can make it a big deal and go to kenny who happens to be your elder brother and say elder brother come this is our step brother or sister do you know they are stupid people he matched my leg and he said you think you're i saw it too say you saw it but thank god you're a witness you did you see it you see you are creating unnecessary complications my bible says there are people called peacemakers everybody say it many of you have made your loved ones hate your loved ones because you said things that you would have trivialized to have sustained the maturity to trivialize it don't be the reason why the heads of people continue to be joined together it's not a blessing are we together now just because a woman told you that her husband said kai the man is not becoming responsible she doesn't know whether she's even suspecting whether he's looking at someone somewhere and you just keep quiet as if you were cleaning the table when you had it and you just quietly go and say madam sorry yo i'm not it's usually not my culture to discuss things like this but um i don't know this and and you start to talk and run your mouth and create a trouble between a husband and a wife and you enjoy the fact that they are all matching to the court <laughs> To collect a letter of divorce is that an achievement that what god joined together you came and put your head there you think you are free did you not hear the warning that let no man put asunder blessed are the peacemakers blessed are the peacemakers blessed are the peacemakers Remember some of the things that some with all due respect to our elderly ones here sometimes you notice our fathers will do a lot of things and our mothers will go all out of their way and correct it and give the credit back to the men and you look and you are angry now you are grown you know why they did what they did it was the price to keep the house in place so that you can grow and know god peace is costly sometimes you have to allow your ego to be stung for peace to reign sometimes you have to play the fool for peace to reign in our right conscious ego conscious society is my right i went to school you can't treat me as if i'm an irritant and everybody you fight your way to destruction and you find out every helper god put in your life you destroy because you did not sustain the fortitude to just swallow some things and swallow them genuinely not swallow and regurgitate them after four months and say i just kept it there now is the time for it to come out no blessed are you if you sustain the maturity and the spirituality to be able to forbear it's, it's a quality in the spirit called forbearance the ability to know that pastor femi at his best is still limited joshua selman at his best is still limited pastor alpha at his best is still limited let it not surprise you are we together now So you must learn that 
24 hours is too much for someone to hurt you the probability that you will be hurt in 24 hours is 100 percent how many percent say it again the probability that somebody will act foolishly towards you in 24 hours is 100 percent the probability that you will be betrayed the probability that someone will trivialize your success in 24 hours is 100 percent let me tell you something i have programmed myself to not be disappointed in people it's not that i expect it but i've created a system of fortification so that nobody's disappointing me ever surprises me and reaches the level where it destroys my capacity for advancement because the best of us is still human i never expected that my father would refuse to pay my final year school fees i can't, I can't believe this you better believe it this is the world your father is human whether for a demonic reason or a selfish reason what has happened has happened so rather than sitting down there to reminisce on his not paying your school fees until you lose an opportunity that be, be, becomes a bigger wound you trust god for that healing and know that all right if he's not paying my school fees lord i lift up my eyes to the hills provide for me by your spirit the heart that disappointed expectations bring is something that only God can heal so you must begin to train yourself to know that men are frail men are mortal men at their best are still humans when you know that nothing truly surprises you I gave an instruction for someone to do something for me and the person wasted my time and it was very clear that the person was dubious and did something sad we're discussing it with my protocol people as we we're coming and i was telling them i said you see these kinds of things but the moment i suspected a foul play already in my heart i already made up my mind that i was going to get that thing again so i'm not disappointed imagine that i came to koinonia frowning and in your mind you are saying apostle why are you frowning? i said why wouldn't i frown do you know what happened this is how many of us carry these things and they wrinkle us they ask you how old are you, you say you are 21 say it's a lie ah me that i thought you'll soon be 50 because a broken spirit can dry the bones are we together so you live a happy life oh i just had that this and that happened to you i just had that this happened say glory be to god i know that god is faithful why are you always happy and laughing because i know that crying will not add or take anything so i choose to laugh it's a choice it's a choice brothers and sisters don't allow the burdens in your life to destroy you learn to be happy men there is a spirit upon us to make sure we die fast we must cast our generation do you know statistically men die faster than women because of the burden of life in africa i think 48 or so is the average age can you imagine how saddening this is by the time a man is 48 already he's already afraid my first son is a useless boy the other lady i thought she would have finished by now is now she's trying to get to ss2 are we together the twins they have refused to grow i don't even understand they are acting as if they are they are stupid people and my wife that now i even think she'll be a wise woman she was wiser when i married her now i don't know what association she, and you see the man is thinking and the devil continues to add what of your relatives yes thank you for reminding me my relatives are evil people what of your boss my boss is a wicked man wants to make sure i'm not promoted and at the end of it you see people start talking to themselves on the road you've heard me say it look around now and see people talking to themselves the man is driving and talking you think he's making a call he's alone and he's just talking not like prayer walking and all of this just frustration is this how life is you see people sit outside very young they just sit down what's wrong and after two days you hear that they are dead I reject it I reject it for myself I reject it for you because you are going back home now many people have said many things about Nigeria some of us are going to go and see your loved ones and you go and see their tears and they say come and join us cry and you say no 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 I'm a peacemaker your wicked mother will be waiting for you to come because I want to beat her 
in your presence so that you will now know and he said no daddy shouldn't be no 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 look i'm the it's it's true it's well it's well not uh, mommy you say boy i say your own version let me hear and you are enjoying the argument and god is watching say your heart is wicked because you too one day you will get married or one day you'll get old your mother is beating your father together with the sisters you now come and you say well i can't stop it the man please beat him a little at least let him mm -mm. you are a peacemaker can you stand between them and say this is not the way forward i choose to be a peacemaker with my life psalms 34 and verse 14 we're praying make up your mind i wrote here to live a simple uncomplicated life let me tell you this the wisest people on earth are those who have been able to think of posterity and they live their lives intelligently there are people when you look at them the complications around their life is too much they have a book with enemies where they write the list of those who have offended them anybody you call they can tell you what the person has done that is bad it's terrible you live a life of anger you live a life of frustration you live a life of this and that and the devil continues to program a system to create those things again i believe in god with all my heart and i make up my mind to be a peacemaker jesus is called the prince of peace I agree my brothers and my sisters there are times that you may not have the tea and bread I agree there are times that you may not have it the way you planned and I know that the disappointment that comes from life when you invest expectations and you don't get what you desire it can be painful I agree but you have a choice you can choose to allow it ruin and destroy your life or you can gain stability through knowledge and say I live a joyful life have you heard of the story of those who die laughing minutes before they die they begin to smile i see the heavens open and when they die the laughter is still there they cheated death they cheated life what of those who are alive and yet they are dead they squeeze their face squeeze everything good morning morning good afternoon afternoon good night they don't answer it's bad okay everybody come together let's pray mm -hmm. in jesus name just Appa. there is nothing new under the sun there is nothing new i choose to be happy i choose to be a peacemaker it's a covenant that i've made myself that nothing in life nothing in life my brothers and my sisters is worth frustrating me to a point that i sit down and i cannot be happy and then i don't sleep it's a joke that thing has not yet come to earth what i'm saying is surprising many of you now you need to lay it down i've forgotten that song now and our time has gone one song that says lay it down yes that's the song sing it for me god is ministering to you carry that load is the devil that put it and lay it down i don't know anything about the song don't expect me to join you you just sing it somebody tonight has got to say lord my life cannot continue like this i cannot carry the challenges in life and put on my head when the keeper of israel if god is not sleeping and me too i'm not sleeping something is wrong the keeper of israel my brothers and my sisters listen i have learned something in this life except the lord builds a house you see they labor in vain that build it except the lord watches over a city let me comfort someone it says that the builders build but in vain it is vain to wake up in the morning to sleep late in the night 
only to eat the bread of sorrow but he giveth his beloved sleep i know you didn't get admission but don't let it kill you you are about to destroy yourself and be, you will be talking yourself till you get to the middle of a road and a tipper will come and kill you for nothing and the world continues to go you must learn to laugh at your challenges you write them down and say lord you are the reason why it was not worst and i give you all the praise lord i don't know how i'm going to pay this rent and while you are talking the landlord is sending you a text and saying it's because i've been watching you when i come back by 10 you will see what will happen i'm coming with a police listen no matter what you do whether you cry or laugh it's still going to happen so you'll be still and let him go and prove that he is god in your life are we together oh did you get the admission i didn't get the admission oh dear and you are smiling like this well god is faithful i know that god is alive did you get the job no did you get the promotion oh the other colleague got it um no problem <laughs> oh you're overdue for a director now the devil is using that person to annoy you are you seeing now instead of the person to keep quiet he's the person is rubbing it in and then you now sit down are we together now and then you find out that with all of these things you are getting angry and the person is laughing say no problem me i know you are the one who deserves this thing you know? and he's rubbing it in and making it pain you and you just laugh it over say it's all right ah, what position did your child take you say well he's not really doing very well now what is it i want to know uh, out of 30 he got 27 ah, you are smart your wife is smart where did this boy get his phone uh, you know human beings can rub this thing in in a way that it can be hurtful you come back from a meeting where you are disappointed the power of god did not move like you expected and someone comes and says, oh yeah tell us how many blind eyes open how many deaf ears open and you know that that person is trying to laugh at you he may be innocent and you're saying well god is faithful and the person listens to the message say well instead of him to say you did well say, well you can do better i know that uh, and you feel that sting can you learn to laugh not at a storm in the storm frustrate satan by making up your mind as you wrap up this year and prepare for the new year that nothing in this life satan you will not see my tears again you will not if i should cry i will cry before his presence i will not let you sit and no 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 i refuse it you will not see my tears some person promised to marry you and after the introduction or whatever he now ran away and say i'm not doing carry your load and your trouble you are a stupid girl you are deliverance god has delivered me from jet you know all those kinds of things and you just move gloomy am i this bad am i not a beautiful girl i don't no, no 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 give jesus praise you see let me tell you this the awareness that god is still on his throne should comfort you your fear should only start when you hear that there is another war in heaven and that god said he's even trying to find out where the, the throne is that's when you should be afraid but for as long as he's still seated my brothers and my sisters do you not know he's still the lifter remember our teaching here god can lift men so you go home and tell them i know that we don't have money I know that we don't know where this is coming from and people pass your family like job they said that man used to be a director it's a shame that they cannot afford chicken for christmas and you know everybody is fighting and you tell them look let's give god thanks 11 people in this family 11 people are still alive if we don't have chicken we should thank god you are a peacemaker don't be a trouble creator your friend comes back angry and she's insulting everyone you should be the one to say my dear i know he's painful how, how can this guy no it's okay i know we are humans but god is alive you begin to speak scriptures not culture not as a why saying when a cow sees it mm. in the name of jesus you are a christian it is only the word of god that is quick and powerful are we together yes the bible says though weeping endures for a night the person will be acting like he's not entering him the word of god will enter anything and change it and at the end you see the person saying thank you i feel better 
you have demonstrated the love of God. You are a peacemaker. Make up your mind to be a peacemaker. Ladies, reject this advocacy that comes from the Western world that ladies are troublemakers. Ladies, I reject it for you in Jesus' name. Say amen. From soup operas to movies to all kinds of things, they advocate ladies as troublemakers. And without the Holy Spirit, it is true. I love you ladies. You know that with all my heart. I'm not a gender. Listen, without the help, the same way without the help of the Holy Spirit, anything for men too is true. The Holy Spirit is the one who helps us all together. There's a joy in my heart in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy in my heart only comes alive every time I hear just the guitar there's a peace in my heart in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this peace that I have only comes alive every time I hear your voice comes it comes alive every time I hear your voice sing with me there's a peace yeah. In my heart In spite of all the troubles That surround me And this peace That I have Only comes alive Every time I hear your voice It comes, it comes alive going to pray this is how we want to wrap up 2018 that Lord your love is at work in me at work in me and part of the dimensions of that love is the peace of God on top the Bible says the Lord is my shepherd I shall not be in want he makes me to lie down in green pastures leads me beside the still waters he restores my soul comes it comes alive. hallelujah prayer point number one god throughout 2018 i declare you faithful you are still faithful i don't care what happened or what did not happen i call you faithful lord i thought i'll be abroad by now but i still call you faithful before we go into the love part call him faithful you have done all things well testimony or no testimony i give you the glory oh god some things this year made you cry some things this year made you rejoice lord together i give you glory the reason for my joy the reason for my hope We're going to pray father let your love be established in my life may i begin to enjoy personally the reality of the love of god lift your voice and pray the reality of your love the reality of your love the reality of your love are you praying The reality of your love. 
the reality of your love hallelujah Lord take away the spirit of hatred in me hatred towards my fellow man that bitter spirit that I struggle with that every time I see something that is worthy of celebration something in me begins to react please open your mouth and pray I'm tired of hating my loved ones. I'm tired of hating my stepbrothers and my stepsisters. Take away hatred, oh God. Let the love of God be furnished within my heart. I declare that I cannot hate. I refuse to hate. I refuse bitterness. I refuse resentment. hallelujah you are going to pray and say Lord the grace to speak good and the grace to see the good in men that that spirit that is quick to see the negative aspects of men take it out of my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray every negative spirit every negative spirit I cannot end this year being negative about people. I see the good in people. I see the good in people. Regardless of their imperfections, regardless of their humanity, I see the good in people. Hallelujah. We are praying, Lord, flood my life with joy. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. That regardless of what happens in my life, let the joy of the Spirit, if someone pray, Lord, I'm tired of anger. I'm tired of the frustration that life brings to me. Oh, I receive joy. Joy like a river. Joy like a river. Joy like a river. like a river flood my heart oh god with joy 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 lord if this is the last miracle you do for me for this year then i receive it let there be joy joy in the midst of the storm when things are not making sense when ministry is not moving forward when my finances are not balancing up joy with a child or no child, joy. With a job or no job, joy. Hallelujah. When the Bible says the joy of the Lord can make men strong. The joy of the Lord. I tell you, there's a song in my spirit. I just prayed joy and I started. What's, what's that jewel song? Yeah, yeah. Na, 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 na. You know the song. We are going to dance. You, you can trust me. You must, you must, you must. Hold on. You must dance every wickedness, dance every jealousy, dance every stress, and wave it goodbye. Hallelujah.
final prayer point hold the hands of someone Lord let koinonia remain a place of love not just a place of power not just a place of miracles thank you for what you are doing in us and from us to the nations of the earth but Lord we pray no jealousy no backbiting let the love of God much more than the power of God much more than the miracles let it be the love of God that will compel souls to come again and again let it be the love of God that will heal the brokenhearted let it be the love of God that will set the captives free for koinonia so love men communicating the love of Jesus hallelujah now we're going to do it this way I will take the altar call now then take um, the altar call then I'll take announcement nobody is going who we'll dance for five minutes I'm the one who closed the service by myself are we together so after that we're going to sing for five minutes and give God praise and thank him I don't know the song yet but you don't you can trust me when we get to that bridge a song will come and we're going to sing it and then afterwards we'll share the grace and at least you will practice what you just learned right now are we together apostle I need Jesus you are welcome right to this place now there are people here who are saying this is the last service an apostle I heard you talk about love and I testify that I have not encountered the love of Jesus genuinely or you are here saying apostle I love Jesus but the bitterness in my heart I have things that I'm fighting I'm fighting loved ones I need a restoration please if you are in any of these categories make your way quickly to the front I believe there are people you want to hand your life to Jesus God bless you God bless you quickly there are people coming outside Please quickly, quickly, we have just a few minutes. We have a minute for you. Very quickly. Apostle, I cannot end 2018 this way. I need to hand my life completely. I came from a background where I have been wounded, I have been hurt, and it looks like I cannot see the good in others. But tonight I want to lay it down. You're welcome. You're welcome. This cannot be all. I believe there are people Jesus is speaking to. You are outside. Make your way. Don't be ashamed. This is home for you. Keep coming. All of your pain. All of your burden. Lay it down. Oh, lay it down. Keep coming. One more minute. Oh, oh, oh. Lay it down. I salute every one of you here. Listen, brothers and sisters, it is a big privilege when we stand before God, and it's my joy to lead some of you to make this decision for the first time and there's others to rededicate your life come you're welcome it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter what you have done or not done rebels don't come to God rebels run away from God so if you ever found yourself before him then you are not a rebel lift your right hand if you will please all of you and say this prayer after me some of you are making this decision genuinely for the first time others you are rededicating your life you do not want to end this last service without a genuine assurance of salvation say after me all of you in concert say lord jesus one more time say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god and i love you tonight i declare that jesus is lord of my life i declare that you are my savior you are my king i hand my life over with all the cares and the worries to you 
and I declare that I take back your life in exchange and I declare that from today I am a child of God I am born again I receive grace to walk in victory amen Jesus thank you for these adorable people you brought them by your spirit to change them some of them are coming out here Lord to make decisions that will guarantee their eternal destiny and others are here to lay all kinds of hurt and pain down and to rededicate their lives the Bible declares that whoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away and Lord we thank you I pray that the grace to live victorious be granted you now in Jesus name let the love of God the peace and the joy that comes with this life let it flood your heart in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit that today begins a new journey in your life fresh grace for you in Jesus name I pray thank you so much for making this decision um, there's, there are gentlemen waving their hands please all of you may I request that you just follow them very very quickly follow them very quickly and they'll communicate a few details did you bring any point of contact oil anything okay now just two minutes our time is gone but where's that case string song we're going to sing it and then we'll just sing that song what's your song now the song is yes that's what we're going to sing so you will just sing it and dance nothing you don't have to sing all the verses we're singing and celebrating and then i prophesy over whatever you have come with and you go back home with it and watch the wonder working power of jesus ready worship team point of contact whatever it is that you have brought whether it is oil or whatever let me just speak over it in the name of Jesus
the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare over whether it's your bottles of oil your handkerchiefs water whatever it is that you're lifting by the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ may a fresh anointing come upon that point of contact now in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that as you take these points of contact home or to your loved ones and apply them by faith we release strange signs and wonders you will come back with supernatural miracles supernatural deliverances in the name of Jesus by these platforms let the dead come back to life by these platforms let all manner of incurable diseases be healed by this platform let there be miracle testimonies in the name of Jesus and I speak over your life you are not only going as an ambassador of heaven we are sending you as an ambassador of this ministry that you become an extension of everything God is doing here in the name of Jesus Christ I speak favor over your life I decree and declare that as you travel as you go around your the favor of God will be evident upon your life I declare that your spiritual life will not go down your prayer life will not go down your word life will not go down now I challenge the spirit of death that is over any life here or over any family to cause you to die whether by accident by plane crash or by whatever mechanism I command that every manifestation of the spirit of death be caused now in the name of Jesus you are not going home to go and see an obituary you are going home and it must be celebration I don't know what is not yet there but I declare at your arrival by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be divine supplies let there be supernatural testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ you go back to your homes to your families to tear down altars you go back to your homes and families to tear down the works of darkness in the name of Jesus for your loved ones who are yet to be saved may this be the holiday season where they encounter Jesus and I decree and declare I expect everyone here between now and January to at least take a day or two or three for a personal retreat I don't have to go around it we know this is a standard thing we do in the ministry everybody this is a time to rest but you must find between now and January when we you must dedicate at least two to three days for your end of year retreat believers wait on God you don't jump into the year carelessly you can wait as a family you can wait as an individual you can wait on God Lord speak to me I'll send the prophetic word for the year December 31st by 6 but before then Lord direct my life what did you not do well this year Lord correct me help me direct me open me up as you wait upon the Lord may your heavens be open every matter you will be seeking direction for from God I release my faith with you may the God of the heavens answer you at your place of retreat may it be an amazing time of supernatural encounter in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the Lord dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny
the face of development lord grant me the discipline 